harsh hiss and static of an old radio, the tinny and practiced voice of a radio announcer is heard. Sevastopol, 1920. The Russian Civil War has raged for three years. The Socialist Red Army, led by Vladimir Ilyich Lenin, now controls almost the entire former Russian Empire. Only a few remnants of the White Guard remain, fortified in the Crimean Peninsula, to await the inevitable. The announcement dissolves into static, briefly obscuring a litany of noises, air raid sirens, explosions, gunfire, before resolving into the tinkle of a music box. A street scene in Sevastopol, early 1920, a miserably gray dusk. A few white guard soldiers patrol. Most of the people we see are waiting, slouched in a bread line. An older woman with a disapproving frown, Oksana, enters carrying a basket. She is shortly followed by her niece, Katya, a young, sad girl in her early 20s, staggering under far too many baskets. Stop dawdling, Katya, and pay attention. Curfew's coming and the line for beef is already around the block. Yes, Auntie. Uh, may I carry that one for you? <laughs> no, no, I've got it. I'm old, but I'm not decrepit. Uh, besides, you'll only drop it. A number of baskets fall from Katya's arms. She scrambles to pick them up. <laughs> it's an heaven infuriating child. I have just suggested it. Here, I'll carry them. If I had such a soft heart, I'd pack you off to the cannery straight away, like our neighbor's daughter. Ten rubles a day we'd be getting, and you might learn to live in the present. I think they gave us a little more flour than usual. Perhaps a ship from England came in. No, that's less than usual. You let those horrible officials swindle you again. You let everyone walk all over you. Now, where's that ration card for beef? Go and stand in line for it. And you look at the scales and make sure they give you exactly what's written, or we won't survive the week. Ah, uh, here it is. But what in heaven's name are you standing about for? Infuriating child! Yes, Auntie, I'm sorry, Auntie. Oksana exits, leaving Katya alone to take in the hunched-over line of citizens awaiting their rations of beef. An urchin grabs a woman's portion of meat and flees. The white guards pursue. Off stage, there is a gunshot. The woman, more concerned over the loss of her food, begins to beg from the people still in the line. Katya observes all of this. City full of dark despair In many ways unpleasant Not one heart
runs off. A bell rings and everyone leaves but Katya, musing to herself alone. When the red morning dies, how entrancing it will be. When the red morning dies, what a dancing we'll see. Give up all this foolish hope. 